What is happening everybody? So, it is Friday today. Um, just me and the Major. And we are in McDonald's drive-thru, just pulled in. Um, so Fridays we typically don't tend to cook. We might, we might cook something very simple. We tend to get some kind of food in. It's not always a McDonald's, it could be any other sort of takeaway. We might even like pop out to like Pizza Express or something with the kids. Um, but Arthur's got a friend over after school today and they wanted McDonald's. So I'm in McDonald's, gonna pick up McDonald's for everybody. It's a bit early for dinner, um, but can you still eat things like this and achieve your goals? You know, maintain a body weight you want to, be healthy, be happy. Yes, you can. Definitely, definitely can. And it's important, you know, at the end of the day, McDonald's, yeah, it's not that great food in terms of, you know, it's, it's like junk food, fast food, but it tastes bloody amazing and it's convenient and the kids love it and the kids will eat all of it. So you can fit it into your diet. You know, it wouldn't be something that I would recommend people eating every single day, but you can fit it into your diet and still stay on track and still achieve results. And for a lot of people, that's the best form of diet approach to follow. Not one where it completely eliminates it altogether and makes you feel guilty about having it. Um, because that's kind of how you end up in that yo-yo dieting trap. So that's what we're doing at the moment. We're queuing here, waiting to order the good stuff. Hi, can you get it please? Hi, can I get three um, chicken nugget Happy Meals, please? Yeah. Um, can I have two of those with a Diet Coke and one with a water? Yeah. Um, and then can I have two large uh, Big Mac meals? Yeah. Uh, both with a Diet Coke? Yeah. Um, then can I have a large uh, double quarter pounder meal? Yeah. With a Diet Coke? Yeah. And then a one um, Smarty McFlurry. Yeah. Um, and that's it. Thank you. All right. Next one will be thank you. Thank you. you. So here's the thing, right? When it comes to wanting to lose weight, maintain weight, stay fit and stay healthy, it all comes down to calories. Okay. And the reason why we I can go out, have a McDonald's, not feel any guilt about it, um, one, it tastes bloody amazing. I'm not going to lie. There'll be some people that watch this don't like McDonald's or don't like it because they class it as really, really bad for you. But at the end of the day, having a McDonald's every now and again is no worse for you than what a lot of other people do. Like people will drink all the time. There'll be people that smoke. There'll be people that don't exercise. Ultimately, it comes down to finding the right diet approach for you that you can eat a particular way and stick within your calories because ultimately the healthiest thing for you is to be a particular body weight, okay? Not be incredibly overweight, not be obese. That is what ends up being bad for someone's health and a lot of health problems are related to that. Now, you can fit a McDonald's into your diet, still get results, still lose weight. And ultimately, because it's like what we do on a Friday night, we sit down, we tend to not cook, we order some food in or we get food out, whatever it may be. That also is part of the lifestyle, good for our mental health. And we're more likely to stick to that diet. Now, if you removed all of those things and all those foods and all those things you enjoy from your diet, then it's going to make it a lot harder to stick to. It's going to make you a lot more miserable. You're probably going to stick to it for a period of time and then give up on it. And then that's when you end up going around in this constant kind of diet in circle that people get stuck in. Now, I had a double quarter pounder meal. And um, large double quarter pounder meal, Diet Coke. 1,250 calories was that meal, okay? Now, I consume anything, at the moment, I'm probably consuming around 2,000 700 calories a day okay working out quite often so i could easily fit that 1250 calories into my day now i may have to ch change and alter certain other things throughout the day have a slightly smaller breakfast or maybe not have breakfast at all at all 
or just have a smaller breakfast, smaller lunch, so I can fit that in, whatever it may be, okay? Now, if that fits into my calories for the day, then it's gonna have no impact on my body weight whatsoever, okay? But what it is gonna do is it's gonna make that diet more enjoyable and easier for me to stick to. Now, for a woman, 1,250 calories might be a bit harder to fit into their daily calories. They could fit it in, but it might take a huge chunk out of their daily calories. Now, that, that is, again, very generic. It all depends on how much exercise you do, how active you are, how many calories a day you need to be consuming to maintain your body weight or to lose weight or whatever your goal may be. But again, it's just understanding and realising. It's thinking, right, Friday nights, we know that we're going to get some kind of takeaway or we're going to go out and eat have a think pre-plan at the beginning of that day and think about what you're going to have where you're going to go if you know at the beginning of the day right Arthur's friends coming over we're going to grab a mcdonald's for the kids so we're probably going to have mcdonald's for dinner then if you're a woman and you have say 16 1800 calories to play with you know right i could get let's say a large big mac meal okay it's about 900 calories i think so you could go, right, I'm going to have a medium Big Mac meal, which is probably, well, which is going to be less, maybe around 700 and something calories. I'm going to have a medium Big Mac meal with a Diet Coke. So that's 700 calories out of my day already. OK, and then you plan the rest of your meals around that so that it all fits in. Like I said, it might be doing something like taking breakfast out and not having your first meal till lunch, just so you've removed those calories. It might be having a smaller than normal breakfast. It might be having a salad for lunch whatever it may be it but it's understanding that you can fit that in it's just having to pre-plan and know what's going on and this is where most people go wrong when it comes to dieting is they eliminate all of the stuff that they enjoy the diet becomes miserable and too hard to stick to and then they end up having a blowout on the things that they enjoy end up feeling guilty about it and then end up eating even more out of guilt and then give up on that diet for a while until they decide that they're ready to start again. They feel motivated to start again. And then they try the exact same approach and they keep going around in circles with the exact same results or lack of results. So that in a nutshell is kind of like at the end of the day, losing weight, maintaining your body weight comes down to in a very basic form, energy balance, calories in and calories out, okay? That's very basic. Now, a lot of different factors of people's daily life are gonna affect that basic, you know, mental things, emotional things, stress-related stuff, time, choices of foods. There's a lot more that comes into it. You can't just say to someone, you know, eat less, move more, because it's like that, that's not how the person has got into the predicament of needing to get fit and healthy. There's all different lifestyle factors that have come into play that need addressing. But ultimately, when it comes down to losing weight or maintaining a body weight you're happy with, it's understanding the amount of calories you consume, the amount of calories you need to be consuming, and then you can take control of your own diet and fit things that you enjoy into it, which will make it easier to stick to. I don't know what it is, but McDonald's Diet Coke is the best tasting Diet Coke ever. It tastes better than when you have it in a can or a bottle, even though they probably water it down. I don't even know what it is, but, you know, like this if you agree with me. Like this video. Now, sitting down, chilling. Skittles. I, would like I like these right because... Looking at the ingredients, um, there's nothing in them that doesn't agree with me. So like, normally I'd have chocolate. Skittles are only the only sweet, sweet thing that I like, but dairy doesn't really agree with me. So there's only certain sort of dark chocolates and biscuits that I can have. So tonight we're having some Skittles. Now half a pack, which is probably about how much I'm going to end up eating. It's only 400 calories off the sharing pack, which I don't think is too bad. Dad, can I have a pack for that? Yeah, hold on. 
considering that this last like snacking throughout the evening, yeah? So again, with that and the McDonald's, you can factor both of them into my calories and still stay on track. Whereas a lot of people would have the mindset of they've had a McDonald's today, they've had Skittles, they've failed, they've messed up, and now as a result of that, they might overconsume more calories because they've kind of taken the mindset of, oh, well, today's a mess up, so kind of whatever, may as well carry on. But actually, you can still be in control of both of them. Now, again, like with a woman, depending on how much your output is, you may not necessarily be able to fit in the McDonald's and half a packet of Skittles. You might be able to. I mean, the two combined, four, five, six, 1,600. So like a lot of women, if that they had half a pack of that and just the McDonald's in one day, they could fit it into their calories. But obviously it's not gonna leave you much else to eat. So as you can see, you can have food you enjoy and still stay on track. And again, at the same time, like I've said before, it's incredibly important for your diet and the longevity of it to include food you enjoy. Literally, she is so much more of a daredevil than he used to be. She will literally just fling herself off of that. Jump on everything. Dad? Jump off everything. Dad, yeah. I'm making my special diary. Nobody looks in there. Okay. Or else. Okay. Or else what? Some bad one. Oh my god. And you do not want to know what that means. No, I do not want to know what that means. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's vlog. And I will see you in tomorrow's. Peace.